welcome back to another rousing edition of Funny You Should Ask, the show where we ask the questions and every question has a funny answer. Let's say hi to our panel, Jason DeCanio. Hey, what's going on, Danny? Not much. Uh, then we got Brandon Beauregard. <laughs> the man of the future and the reason we're all here today, David 3000 St. Dennis. <laughs> Super Dave. Alex Hool. Hello, everyone. Dante Pittman. Hey, what's up, everybody? And uh, last but not least, from the popcorn panel, William Braun. Huh? Otherwise known as William the Conqueror, who concubines everything. Yes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I'm happy to be on here, even though it has been, you know, quite a while. But I'm ready to, to you know, have some fun over here and have a good night. So oh, yeah. that's, what, that's what we do. We love to have fun. Yeah. I'll drink no. that. Yeah, me too. But uh, unfortunately, I'm not drinking a beer. I'm drinking some uh, Pellegrino mineral Pellegrino water. water. <laughs> uh, I only have this. Perrier, you dumb fool. <laughs> hey, I, like, I used to like Perrier, but I think I like Pellegrino better. But anyways. Hey, Pellegrino uh, water. <laughs> I'm drinking water because I have diabetes. Uh, I drink okay, water. Okay, well. Let's let that uh, let that the segue into your contestant interview. Let's add our contestants. First up, we have uh, Cameron, aka Christian. Or what? Which is it, mate? Which is it, guy? Uh, that's you can just call me Christian. That's fine. Okay. Uh, tell us about yourself. Um, I am a local indie wrestler. Uh, anybody who watches professional wrestling. Uh, <clears throat> I am from Volga, South Dakota. Uh, I got a few hobbies of my own, you know, wrestling being one of them, football being the other, and I'm currently working a factory job over in a place called uh, called Twin City Fans, which I actually start Friday, which is uh, orientation, essentially, which is, you know, them explaining safety and all that other crap. Um, but yeah, I'm here to have fun, so, you know, that explains who I am. Uh, that's good. Uh, good luck to you. And you're facing against Mr. Scott Egbert. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, hey, uh, this is my first time playing in front of you, should ask. Well, uh, tell us about yourself. Oh, I'm 22, I came from Lakewood, Washington, and... You know, I've yeah. been... You know, I've been watching Funny You Should Ask while I'm in New York, so... It's basically my, uh... Ready to show that I can get ready for this here. Okay. All right, but before I play, I'll explain the rules once more. I'm going to ask the celebrity a question, and you, con the contestants, have to decide if they're right or wrong. For each correct uh, prediction, you will get $100, and whoever has the most money at the end of two rounds goes on the bonus round, and which they will get paid for $10,000. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. Was he uh, lagging out for anybody else, or was it just me? Yeah, no, was, no, he, he was lagging. He, he was Roboto. Okay, I just wanted to make sure my Wi-Fi wasn't becoming shit. Okay, all right, Jason, here's your question, Jason. Uh -huh. True or false? True or false? In order yeah. to ensure, in order to ensure global supply in case of an emergency, Canada has a huge. Syrup. Yeah, well, thank God, I just ran out of my maple syrup, and I don't have enough pancakes. You know what I mean? So, bis quick myself out of here. You know, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Uh, I I will say uh, that Canada has a, a big supply of maple syrup. In fact, they're the maple syrup country of the world. So I'm going to say that's true. And Danny froze up. <laughs> Look at that. Danny's camera just like froze. Right? I, I know, and he, he's like smiling. Yeah. Oh, my, oh. Five seconds, it was the funniest thing I ever saw. Testing one, two, three. Are we? Am I still on? Yeah, you're still on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait. <laughs> Danny, I got something. This is what he was. <laughs> That's a funny quote of movie. Can you still see me now? I was frozen today. 
Okay. If you have that set up movie, what are you doing? Okay. 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 Let me let me go back to it. Okay, Christian Jason said that's true. Is he right or wrong? Um, I I think he's wrong to be honest with you. I mean, what the fuck is like? <laughs> how? I mean, in, in sort of way, how would that be true? You know what I mean? Because it's 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 Canada, man. That's like the fucking maple syrup, like country, state. You know what I'm saying? Well, believe it or not, it is it is true. So you missed the question. Oh, okay then. So they do have a supply of uh, maple syrup. I'm I sorry you didn't get the point for that one. And yeah, Jason did say it was true. Okay, I did. Uh, next up, David 3K. All right. Alright, David, here's your, uh, here's your question. <laughs> Did you, uh, do you see it now? Nope. I thought, I thought the question was, was it a limit supply? I didn't quite hear what the... I don't know. It's on the... Oh, that's okay. Okay, okay. Oh, Alright, thank, thank you. That will make it easier, my bad. Oops. Okay, okay, Scott, it's your turn, and we got David in St. Dennis. Okay, David, here's your question. True or false, kissing at a wedding ceremony is inspired from a Roman tradition where a kiss was a form of a signature. Yeah, and don't forget to sign at the bottom. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, I, we can't hear da David. <laughs> I said, yeah, and don't forget to sign at the bottom. Uh, David, uh, true or false? Uh... True. Uh, Scott, agree or disagree? That is true. I think he's right. Yes, it is true. You got the hundred dollars there. Okay. Ding. Okay. All right. Uh, now, Christian, it's your turn with Mr. Brandon Beauregard. Yeah. <laughs> okay then. Okay. Uh, all right, Brandon. Here's your question. On the TV show Bewitched, Samantha conjured up magic by twitching her nose. Now, on I Dream of Genie, what did Genie do to please her magic? She would rub his lamp, if you know what I mean. Viva, 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 voo. I rubbed the lamp, and I hope you get something really good, man. Yay, yay, yay. Um... Mm, yeah. I, I, man, I haven't seen that show. Oh, it's a, no, 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 that's not the real answer, Christian. That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I know that wasn't the real answer. I just fucking, I haven't seen that show in years, so this will be a hard one to answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, Brandon, what's your answer? I would say blinking and nodding. Okay, uh, Christian, agree or disagree? You know, I'd have to agree with that then. That's the correct answer. I thought I saw a putty cat. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Ah. All right. All right. Let's, uh... mm -mm -mm. All right. Let me find a good Alex. Uh, okay. All right, Scott, it's now your turn with Mr. Alex Hool. Our, another uh, regular panelist of ours always does a good job. Okay, Alex, are you ready? Ready. Okay, Alex, here's the question. For a short time in the mid-2000s, the insurance giant Geico used the tagline, So easy, a what could do it? A senator. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say a garbage man, too. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I actually do know this. Be because I remember the to see in the commercials, it's so easy a caveman can do it. No, I'll say caveman. Okay, uh, Scott, is he right or wrong? I think he's right. Yes, that's right. So easy a caveman can do it is correct. So I can turn with my own. No. Right. T for two and two for T. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I got a joke about that when we go to commercial. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, you can talk about everything. Okay. It scores 100, 200. We're back to Christian. And our panelist is Dante Pittman. Yeah. Yay. All right. Okay, Dante. Dante. Dante, here's your question. True or false? Your pet parakeet would consider it a refreshing treat if you carefully bob him upside down in a cup of water like a tea bag. 
<laughs> well, I know my, well, I know my girlfriend likes that. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Damn. Damn. I didn't you had a girlfriend, man. <laughs> With a tea bag like that, you go to join <laughs> it, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wow. But anyway, I would say false. <laughs> okay, Christian, is he right or wrong? False. I would have to agree with him. I think that's false, to be honest. That is, that is correct. That is correct. Hey, that's correct. Circle gets the square. Yeah. <laughs> a wrong show. <laughs> All right. No, this is not Hollywood. Hollywood Square has ripped us off. Just oh, so knows. yeah. Too bad. John Davidson, you would have played John Davidson's hairstyle, Danny. You know? All right. <laughs> Okay, 200 to, 200 to 200. Uh, last question of the round with Scott and Mr. William Braun. Okay, well, here's your question. Oh, boy. True or false? Oh, wow, we got a lot of true or falses tonight. True or false, according to the National Day calendar, there is actually a National Nude Day. <laughs> well. well, I never know what to wear for my body, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Man, Pornhub would have fun with that one, huh? Oh, Anything on DMS three thousand news live? That's right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me that, uh, question, Danny. I had that all right up here, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you gave me that a question like that, Danny. Thanks a lot. You're uh, welcome. Uh, I'm gonna say false on this one. All right, uh, Scott, as he says false, do you agree or disagree? <laughs> I think he's right. Believe it or not, it's true. So. Oh. Oh. It's really a new day? I got to say that. I didn't find out which uh, day of the calendar was, but hopefully it's not October 14th. Because, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Jason, hold up, hold up, hold up. I know where's the best place where you can celebrate National New Day. Hooters. <laughs> I'll have a, yeah. When I go to when I go to Hooters, when I go to Hooters, I say, "Hey, I'll have a chicken breast. Hold the chicken." <laughs> I just looked it up for National New Day, July the fourteenth. Oh, July fourteenth. Oh wow. Okay. Well, oh, July fourteenth. That was pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. All right. Uh, oh, uh, Jason. Okay. Well, for, we're gonna take a commercial break. We'll be back after these messages. Oh boy. Okay, now, Jason, the joke I heard about T for Two and it was like, uh, hey, did you know that the song, <laughs> the lyrics of T for Two says, no one around to see us or hear us? I think those people were up to some serious fucking. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back to Fun of Years and Ask at the end of round one. We're tied up with both Christian and Scott having each $200 in their bank. Now, in round two, correct answers will be worth $200, double the money, and whoever has the most money after this round will get to play a bonus line for $10,000. Now, uh, Christian, since you started the last round and we're tied, Scott will go first this round, and we're going to go back to my main man, Jay DeCanio. All right. I didn't know they were all tied up. I thought... <laughs> all tied up? Ah! Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, they're tied up, but uh, they, they, they're safe. Nice. They're all they're safe. They're both safe. Okay, okay, uh, Jason, uh, check. Yeah. Out. Okay, here we go. True or false? <laughs> super fans <laughs> of Star Trek, <laughs> super fans of Star Trek, known as Trekkies, have translated Shakespeare's play Hamlet into Klingon. Yes, and they're planning on doing the same with all of Joe Biden's speeches. Yes. <laughs> That's gotta be a really that's gotta be really tough, I think. Yeah, that one that one had a real it in the oko, you know? Uh, yeah. uh well speaking of I, I am one of them. I, I I prefer Star Trek over Star Wars anytime. Uh I, I'm gonna say that's actually false. You're gonna say false, okay? Yeah. Okay, uh, Scott, is he right or wrong? I think he's wrong. That is true. So ah, I see, I thought I could bluff him. Not. Can't get anything through that guy. <laughs> there you go. Nice to go. Yep. Okay. 
two hundred dollars for Scott, two hundred four. Now we go to Christian with David Saint Dennis, not dentist. Dentist. <laughs> 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 Hold on. Guy before Psycho Sid was Isaac Yankum, I think, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, David. Here's here's your question, my guy. In Greek mythology, who was the breathtakingly handsome lad who was commanded to spend half his life above ground and half below? <laughs> Brandon Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, Brandon Martin? Well, I, I hope he's not watching this. <laughs> Brandon Martin? No we're try, I've been try, we've been trying to get him on the show for weeks. He, he, always, he, ever, he always ignores my messages anyway. Oh, he's, busy with, he's busy with college. So we kind of, you know, we're going to give him that, you know. Until well, next summer, then he, that might actually work. Or on the season with any public Uh, David, what's your answer? Oh, um, my answer is, um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm good, I can't pronounce that right, sorry. Um, Olympus? Olympus, mm. yes. Okay, okay, Christian, he says it's Olympus, do you agree or disagree? I'd have to agree. I'm sorry, the <laughs> correct answer was Adonis. Not Olympus, Adonis. Oh, damn! Yeah, that's the second uh, David question. Out of the... Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, let me find the second. Yes, okay. okay, okay. All right, Scott, back to you with Brandon Beauregard. All right, Brandon, here's your question. Uh, true or false, a man served nearly 20 years in prison for a crime that his identical twin brother eventually confessed to. Yeah, twins always finish each other's sentences. <laughs> 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 the twin finished a prison sentence. Mm -hmm. I would say that's false. Uh, he says it's false. Uh, Chris, uh, Scott, excuse me. Scott, do you agree or disagree? I think he's right. No, I'm sorry. That's true. Oh, yeah. okay. You're giving me the most but oh, pointless, most pathetic joke. No, not, that, that wasn't the most pathetic. I think uh, Will's joke about not knowing what to wear was the most pathetic joke. But... <laughs> oh, God. I, I give all these. I hand out the joke strategically. But anyway. Okay. All right, Christian. Here's a chance for you to get back uh, back in the game and tie it up again. We're back to Mr. Alex Huel. Okay, Alex. Alex, what happens to your social security number when you die? <laughs> it will immediately get stolen by Elon Musk. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> we should have him on the show. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> I'm just so kidding. even, Danny. <laughs> if that's his like serious answer, is that like his serious? No, 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 I figured no, no. that was a joke answer. <laughs> I'm just no, asking. <laughs> I mean, I mean, because there's a logical chance that that could happen. I mean, you never know. We all must has money, you know. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> all right, Alex, what's your answer? <laughs> okay. Um. I'm going to say it's retired. Okay, Christian, is he right or wrong? Um, let me, I, when he says retired, I would have to say that's kind of true, because I believe, if this is correct or not, but I believe once you die, I believe your social security number is erased out of a computer, 
so you no, know, it can't be stolen or anything. So when he says retired, I'd have to say that. That's that's correct. You're right. Okay, you got the point there. Good job. Oh, tied up again. Okay. All right, now it's uh back to Scott with Dante Pittman. Okay. Uh, Dante, here's your question. True or false, according to the book of Genesis, Noah had two wives. Which also gave him two headaches. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say something about Noah Longmire for a bit. <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, if you think about it, though, with him having two wives, that means he could get laid more, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, Woo, woo, woo. I'll say balls. Uh, it's got to be right or wrong. I think he's right. That is false. You're right about that. Okay. Yay. Uh, 400 to 600. And uh, we go to Christian. Last, if we, Christian, if you got this right, you can type, and then we'll go to a tiebreaker question. If not, Scott is the winner. Okay. Last but not least, Will, here is your question. True or false, a group, a group of teenagers stole more than $40,000 in calculators from New York City High School. Yeah, because, and they said, these phones suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from your lips to God's ears, you know, there you go, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um. Uh, I'm going to go false on this one. Uh, Christian, for the game, he says false. Is he right or wrong? I believe he is actually wrong. I believe that is uh, factual. I could see somebody actually doing that. Uh, and means... the correct answer, that is true. You get the points. Okay. <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the first time for everything. Now we have to go to a tiebreaker. So we gotta, I got to find uh, one more question here. And uh, Christian, since uh, you were you were player one, you get to decide. Do you want to take this question, or do you, or do you want to pass it to Scott? No, I'll take the question. Okay, so if you agree or disagree, correct, you will win the game. If not, Scott will win the game. Okay. Okay, Jason, you will take the tiebreaker question here. Oh boy, yum yum. Okay, Jay, true or false? Uh, and I wanted to save this question for when uh, Ben Wilner was here, but oh well. True or false, the U.S. has used the music of Barney the Dinosaur to get information oh. from prisoners. Yeah. <laughs> and they started the music to get them to kill each other, and then they play it <laughs> to put them to sleep. You know? <laughs> wow. uh, I've never heard of this before, uh, but you know, considering the fact that Barney the Dinosaur kind of would put everybody to sleep, let alone try to get information out of everybody. Uh, I'm going to say it's uh, false. Okay, Christian, is he right or wrong? I have to say that's false, yeah. I don't think that the government would play Barney. I mean, like, what is that really going to do besides annoy the shit out of somebody? <laughs> it's like, no, I, I think that that is false. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. Uh, so yeah, it's, yeah, that, yeah it, it's a real thing in, in uh, Cuba and in... in uh, Guantanamo Bay. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, at least it's not as messed up of what some some of them do and uh, what the government does in Mexico to get information out of people because they do some pretty messed up stuff down there. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, congratulations, Scott. You're the winner. Uh, Christian, did you have a good time, though? Oh, absolutely. That was a lot of fun. Uh, well, glad to have fun. You, leave, you leave us with 600 bucks. Yeah, hey. unfortunately, none of it's real. <laughs> <laughs> Man, me and Steve, funny as ass on New York just pays off. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Okay. Hi, right, uh, Scott. You ready for the bonus round? Yeah, I am ready for the bonus round. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, let me, uh, okay, panelists, when you get the answer in your DMs, read it immediately, so that way it'll flow better, okay? Okay. Okay, Thanks. so here's how, so, uh, okay, Scott, I'll explain the bonus round. So the bonus round will have three questions. 
each panelist will give a choice. Uh, question one has three possible choices. If you get that right, you move on to question two, which has four. And if you get that right, you move on to question three, where all six panelists will give you a possible choice to choose and answer your question. And if you get all three questions right, you will win an extra ten thousand dollars. But if you miss one question, the game, the round is over, and uh, you leave with uh, your six hundred dollars. Okay. Okay, are we ready, Scott? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, here is the first question. If you want to, <laughs> if you want to see Haboobs, your best bet is to travel to which of these places? The Sahara Desert. The Great Barrier Reef. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, David. Sorry, David. David St. Dennis's closet. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> A closet queen. I never heard of a more bonus boy. You know? yeah. First time ever. Yep. <laughs> okay, yeah. Scott, I'll read the choices again. If you want to see Haboobs, your best bet is to travel to either the Sahara Desert, the Great Barrier Reef, or David's Closet. What do you think? Well, 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 well the third option I'm not going to pick. <laughs> 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 So it's just between the Sahara or the Great Barrier Reef here. Yes. I'll say the Sahara Desert. The Sahara Desert is right. Okay. Yay. Okay. Right. Um, now we move on to question two. In ancient Greece, a hippodrome was a structure designed to host what type of um, stage play? Gladiator, gladiator duel. Chariot race. Bo is fighting to the death. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Scott, I'll read it again. In ancient Greece, a hippodrome was a structure designed to host a stage play, a gladiator duel, a chariot race, or hippos fighting to the death. The last, the last, the last option, I'm not picking that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Chariot race, chariot race. Hmm, I'm thinking the chariot race. That's the correct answer. Okay. Yeah. Oh, why? Oh, uh, <laughs> ooh. Hmm. Yum yum. Okay. All right, one more, and he gets it. Yeah, if you get this last question right, you'll win ten thousand oh, dollars. Ten thousand virtuoso dollars. Yep. Ah 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 ah. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. <laughs> even the count can't even count virtuous dollars. You know. <laughs> okay. All right. Here's the last last question of the game. Mm -hmm. Scott, if, Scott, if you get this right, you win ten thousand dollars. Okay, here is the question. On Good Friday in 1930, the BBC shockingly announced what? The king is dead. Yeah. 
David. <laughs> there is no news. Say that again. There is no news. Princess born. <laughs> the Great Depression is over. <laughs> Another war is upon us. I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> 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 okay, let's go through that one more time. Okay, Scott, on Good Friday in 1930, the BBC announced, The King is dead, there is no news, a prince is born, the Great Depression is over, another war is upon us, and uh, Jason, what was that last one? I like big butts and I cannot die. Died they <laughs> did the baby got back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Scott, for $10,000, what's your answer? By the way, Jason, I really like uh, Baby Got Back by Sumer Salon. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know I'm not kidding, I'll pick that. <sighs> There's another war upon us. Oh, I'm sorry. The right answer was there is no news. Uh, there is oh. no news. Oh, yeah. mm. Man. Okay. So but, close to 10K. But Scott, you leave us with, you get a thousand bucks for each question you dig it, right? So you're leaving with a total of $2,600. Hey. Let's give uh, Scott a little round of applause and a round of applause for Christian and all the other panelists mm. as well. I'm Danny Lewis. This is Funny Us at Ask. Until next time, keep on smiling. See you next time. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the Democratic Network for great more content like this one.